Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in our technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. OK, let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at the Net2 system. We're going to look at how you send a fire alarm input uh, to, to an ACU, which in turn will tell the other ACUs on the system to unlock. So from the fire alarm system or from your control system, you simply need the dry contact output from that to go to one of the alarm inputs on the Net2 system. You, you would put a Net2 controller local to this input. So let's go to doors. Um, you can see I've got two controllers here and we will pick the demo ECU. Um, and then on the fire alarm inputs, on this line here, the fire alarm input is connected to the, and then we can choose what is the alarm input. Now there's several inputs. I'm going to use the PSU input, um, and when the so that's a dry contact input, common and normally normally open, going closed. So then we need to um, decide if the fire alarm is like detected, which doors unlock. So we're going to say the two ACUs I've got. If you had more ACUs, you would select them. And, and this, and by selecting them, it doesn't release every door. For instance, on some doors, you don't want the doors to unlock. Um, but there you go, I'm going to select those two doors. Then I'm going to click Apply, and that's the doors now added to the system. You've got this um, option here, automatically reset the alarm. That's quite useful, actually. Um, if the alarm input goes open again, it will relock the doors. Um, but for the event, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave that um, unopened, unticked. So then when the fire alarm input is activated, I'll show you in the event log what you have to do to, um, to process the alarm. Okay, so if we go to the events log, we can see the live events coming through the system. And basically this just tells you the status of the system. So if I flick the um, PSU input, you can see there, both alarms come through. Um, it shows you the doors are open, uh, and, the, and it's giving free exit to people. People can come and go as they please. Now, if I above there, you can see we've got an icon, um, fire door re reset. If we click that, we can then choose the input we want to reset, select that, press OK, and that then that will then lock the doors and put them back into normal access control mode. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and project teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.